Hi, my name is Nick Schmiel, and I'm a scientist at BioRad Laboratories. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Transblot Turbo blotting system and show you how to set up this system in your own lab. When you purchase a Transblot Turbo system, you will receive several items. One item is the base unit, which contains an integrated power supply, eliminating the need for a separate power supply. The unit also includes an LCD screen and keypad, allowing convenient access to the turbo transfer protocols and software features. The unit has two bays that hold the transfer cassettes. Two transfer cassettes are included with each system, and additional cassettes can be purchased separately. The cassettes slide into the bays in any order. You will also receive a blot roller to remove bubbles that often form between the membrane and the gel, as well as a detailed instruction manual and a quick reference guide to help you set up the instrument. While the system can be used with standard semi-dry blotting reagents, turbo transfer packs are necessary for rapid transfer applications. We have these transfer packs available separately in mini and midi size with PVDF or nitrocellulose membranes. In order to set up the Transblot Turbo, simply plug in the power cord included with the system to the rear of the unit. The power supply is compatible with universal line voltage. Turn on the power switch located at the side of the unit and you are now ready to assemble a transfer sandwich. First, let's assemble a transfer sandwich using turbo transfer packs. Take a cassette and open the lid by turning the knob counterclockwise. You will feel a small click. The top lid contains a stainless steel cathode fixed to a spring-loaded plate that ensures that equal and consistent pressure is applied to the transfer sandwich. The bottom tub contains an anode plate made of platinum-coated titanium. Both electrodes have been designed to withstand years of use. To assemble a transfer pack, open it by peeling away the top foil. Here we will use a mini-sized pack. The mini transfer pack tray contains two iron reservoir stacks located side by side. Each stack can be identified by the labeling on the tray. The bottom stack contains the membrane and is placed in the bottom of the cassette with the membrane facing up. Roll the stack and membrane gently with the blot roller to remove any air trapped between the stack and the cassette. Lay your gel on top of the membrane. With the Transblot Turbo, there is no need to equilibrate the gel and transfer buffer. Next, place the top stack on the gel. Roll again to remove bubbles. Place the cassette cover on top of the sandwich. Press down firmly and turn the knob clockwise to lock. You'll know it's locked when you feel a click. Transblot Turbo transfer packs also come in the larger MIDI size. In the MIDI transfer pack, both the top and bottom ion reservoir stacks are arranged in one tray, one on top of the other, and can easily be separated using the pre-cut tabs on the upper corners. The first or bottom stack, which contains the membrane, is lifted using the right tab and placed in the bottom of the cassette with the membrane facing up. Roll the stack and membrane gently with the blot roller to remove any air trapped between the stack and the cassette. Lay your MIDI gel on top of the membrane. If needed, carefully roll the gel to remove any bubbles. Next, remove the top stack by using the left tab and place on the gel. Roll again to remove bubbles. Place the cassette cover on top of the sandwich, press down firmly and turn the knob clockwise to lock. Again, you'll know it is locked when you feel a click. The MIDI transfer packs can also be used to transfer two mini gels simultaneously. After placing the bottom stack in the cassette base, take the first mini gel and place it on the left side of the MIDI format stack with the top of the gel aligned with the outer edge of the stack and the low molecular weight proteins near the center of the stack. Take your second mini gel and place on the right side of the stack in the opposite direction so that the top of the gel again is aligned with the outer edge of the stack. If needed, use the roller to remove bubbles. Remove the top stack from the tray and place on the gels. Roll again to remove bubbles. Place the cassette cover on top and lock. Once the cassette has been inserted into the instrument, you can quickly access the turbo protocols for a seven minute rapid transfer. The top and bottom bays, called A and B, are independently controlled. 
so you can set up and start one transfer, then start the other bay whenever you are ready. In the run screen, a countdown timer as well as real-time voltage and amperage conditions are displayed. If you are using Biorad Mini Protein TGX gels, you can use the TGX Turbo Protocol that provides efficient transfer of one mini TGX gel per cassette in three minutes. After the run is complete, the unit will emit a beep and Run Complete will be displayed on the LCD screen. The blot does not have to be taken out immediately, though we do recommend proceeding with blot detection as soon as is convenient. Once the transfer is complete, the cassette can be removed from the unit and opened. First, remove the top stack and reveal the transferred blot. Even with the runtime as short as three minutes, the Transblot Turbo produces excellent results. Cleanup is easy. After each run, the cassette can be rinsed with water and wiped down with a paper towel. The Transblot Turbo system comes preloaded with several protocols for transferring a wide range of proteins from any gel type. In addition to the pre-installed protocols, you can also program and save your own transfer conditions. By varying the voltage, current, and time, you can customize the Transblot Turbo for your own specific needs. With this tutorial, you should be ready to transfer your own gels using BioRed's Transblot Turbo blotting system. For more information on the Transblot Turbo, please visit www.transblotturbo.com.